Abarg is not comparable to Tyrian leaders. He does not simply drain them of wealth or land. He has taken the two, eating them. He's... he's feeding on other crypts? Our blood is his blood. And eventually, we will be dissolved. And that is tragic. Killing Ebok is a mutual goal, is Garen. I don't meddle in foreign politics, Lady Pathar. Letting him devour your entire people, while upsetting, could ultimately help Tyria. Can't start another invasion without bodies, can he? But he can come here himself and do the same to this world. And he is quite fond of it. I've turned away many beings from outside, especially after the gods and the damage they wrought. I have also neglected to ask for help. And to accept it, when I've needed it most. Wayfinder? Thoughts? Oh no, um, uh. I think we can trust her. I... feel it. I promise. No deception. The Astral Ward needs to recover before we take action. But I'm not opposed to hearing a plan. <sighs> Your air is a delicacy to breathe. And I could use that indulgence. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, we've seen that before. We've been up here before. Um. I trust that Isgarin will help where he's What's she doing here? But now, I want to ask you. You have saved your home world more than once. And now, I am asking you to help save mine. That's what I am, world saver. For now, I just need you. The Cryptus would be overwhelmed if too many of Isgarin's people came through. But if you come in with me and help rally support, we can prepare them for the push against Ebark. Do you think they'll trust me? Far more than they trust their king. And I need them to trust me. Then I'll go with you. Good. I'll leave you to your friends, Wayfinder. I'm sure you've much to discuss. <laughs> of course not. The emotions of your people may smell of wine, but your flesh is not for me. I first tasted your aura quite some time ago. I didn't know it was you then. But you died, and then came back. I felt that ripple, even if it was brief. There are many realms that linger near yours. I assume they felt it too. When you fell into Ceres's trap and first came to Nios, I felt that ripple again. Your life has been precarious. Besides, I needed you alive. 
At first it was simple curiosity. Ceres was not wrong. You are a, a delicacy to us. Ceres huh? also angers so easily. I couldn't miss the opportunity to throw a stone into his pond. But then I saw what you could do. I felt what you had done. We may be born of different rules, but strength recognizes strength. And helping me kill Aceris proved all that I needed. I'm strong. Ceres and Deimos were always horrible. Epoch encouraged that. He raised them to follow his orders and to consume. At least Deimos had the slightest bit of reservation. But even he was too focused on bloodlust. Managed to wiggle past his Garin's barriers only to get trapped and kill. Oh, good. Ceres never stood as tall as our brother. Not in Abark's eyes. He tried, but death was his fate. And dying by your hand was a far kinder fate than by Abark's. So no, I do not mourn him. I mourn the brothers I never had. Next. You're my new wayfinder. I am? And you're the one we fought through an army of cryptus to save? I am. Iskarin. Very informal for someone who's never met me. Sorry. I've heard so much about you. I don't care what you call me. Iskarin is comfortable. He is comfortable. But I've been called many names. And all of them are as true as this one. I've lived many lives. And I haven't always looked like this. You've always been a mystery to me. You first caught my eye in your pursuit of Zaitan. I started to piece it together. You've been watching. Why didn't you help? It's not my job to interfere with nature. The path unfurled as expected. You're alive. Most of your friends are alive. Most of them? Oh, calm. Life is death, and things could have been far worse, I promise. I do want to thank you, Wayfinder. Your aid was clearly needed here. And will be needed as you march with your... friend. All right, next person on our list. Welcome back to the Kanta Report. This is me, Ray, reporting from our studio in UK Maine. This reporter was recently given the impromptu opportunity to interview the famed PAC commander uh -oh. during my first world tour. Their eyes, glossy as the Jade Sea, watched me with weariness. The catastrophe in Kanta was still heavy on their soul. We stood in their home, a residential district in Divinity's Reach. The smells of urine and fresh bread competed for attention. I asked their part in ending the dragon cycle. Hiding behind their famed Veil of Charm, they credited their allies. 
When I asked of their leadership, they maintain diplomacy, saying they always act on the best information at their disposal. We pivoted to the end of the Dragon Cycle, which generations suffered. They blamed the Dragon Void, the force that felled Suwon. I asked what's next for the Commander. With exhausted eyes, they shook their head like a child, frightened and uncertain. Near the end of our interview, the Commander was pulled away in a frenzy of emotion. A letter fell into their lap as we spoke. They peeled it open with the precision of a hardened warrior. Delicate, but intentional. Their eyes glanced over the contents. Dread, but possibly a hint of warmth, brushed their cheeks before they looked to me. Sorry, was all they could mumble before leaving. While I wasn't able to ascertain their call to action, I can only assume they were pulled to the arms of another battle. Next up on the Tampa Report, I go head to head with Ritlock Brimstone, ally of the Commander and Tribune of the Blood Legion. <laughs> Ritlock, how do you feel about the escalating calls for global unity following the death of Sue Wan? Get that damn thing out of my face before I shut it! <laughs> That's Ritlock. <laughs> Until next time, stay sharp, Tyria. That is Ritlock. Uh, don't see it up here. There it is. What's up, peeps? So. Any lingering reservations about our new friend here, Dagda? Last minute notes? Hmm. That twinkle in your eye. For what starless purpose would you ask such a question? Oh, just stoking the forge. As always, you're so above it all. Good of you to notice. I am grateful you gave me a chance to adjust. Much has changed. And quickly. It can be jarring for the eldest of us. My history with immortal entities has been mixed. Here's hoping this whole Wayfinder thing is a good change. If the heroes of this age are even half your measure, the court may even call on others in time. It may be inevitable. Dagda. I owe it to Mabon to try. Hunters. We're going somewhere cold oh, after this, coming. and on flat earth. <laughs> Not warm. We could rent that little bungalow near the blood tide coast. <laughs> Don't you two look rested? No, unfortunately. But we've got them on the back foot. I'm more worried for the mainland than Omnitas now. Cryptus are still coming in from Nios, but their numbers are weaker. Eparch is scared. Poor thing. We don't want to assume, but things are looking up. I'm just glad you're taking a moment for yourselves. Savor it. Oh, we will. Planning our first vacation in, what, seven years? <laughs> At least. The ward has very strict rules for interacting with the rest of the world. But we could use a few days away. All right, there. Peace with that in mind. I'm calling this the end of the session. Lots of videos to post. Lots of videos to render. So, until next time, guys.